politieke en economische samenwerking met Oekraïne. Wat zijn de voordelen en nadelen voor Nederland en de hele Europese Unie? Ter gelegenheid van het referendum over de associatieovereenkomst laten Lieke en Richard Lamp zich informeren. In Oekraïne bezoeken zij bedrijven en spreken met overheidsvertegenwoordigers. Ja kijk, als je dus in Oekraïne bent, dan heb je ook zoiets van hoe doen ze dat hier met belasting betalen? Want belasting betalen is een apart verhaal hier in, in Oekraïne. En uh, het is zelfs zo uh, ja, serieus dat ze bedacht hebben dat er nodig is een, een ombudsman voor ondernemers. Een ombudsman uh, on entrepreneurship, as we mentioned here. Uh, please do introduce yourself, because this is the ombudsman for entrepreneurs. Ja, yeah, so my name is Taras Kashka, so I, and I'm working as a um, so-called tax ombudsman, or ombudsman for entrepreneurship at State Fiscal Service. State mm -hmm. Fiscal Service is responsible for collecting all, all taxes and uh, But you don't customs. work for government? Yeah, I'm not working for the government. This is a pro bono independent position. And you started uh, in 2015, August? Yeah, in August 2015. Uh, the idea behind the establishing this institution is that due to a uh, really bad, bad image of uh, Ukrainian tax, uh, tax authorities and customs authorities, so mm -hmm. fiscal service, in general, uh, but wait, no. Why, why in the beginning is it necessary? Because, well, uh, the government should could do some extra services. Yeah. Uh, so the, the the idea is that uh, so since Ukraine undertook the big project of reforms uh, of reforming it yeah. itself and get rid of corruption, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I I believe that majority of claims are connected with corruption or bad administration from business mm -hmm. connected. Uh, tax administration, yeah. connected customs, so connected fiscal service mm -hmm. in general, uh, the, there was an understanding that the mutual uh, untrust or mistrust between business and tax yeah. uh, uh, service is so big and this mistrust cannot be resolved merely by the self-reforming self of fiscal service. Uh, and fiscal service is, you know, naturally uh, claim that there is a lot of fraud in the, in the, in yeah. the businesses and so on. Uh, therefore, there was a demand for a, an independent intermediary. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I've been invited by uh, leadership of uh, State Fiscal Service. And we invented this title. So yeah, there wasn't, because so, I for know million. in the Netherlands there is nothing similar. Yeah, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, we, we all believe that uh, the task for, for this institution is uh, temporary because mm -hmm. Uh, what I am, uh, what I, uh, what the, because the ca cases of and the request I, I am involved, a request from business yeah. and claims of business, of business on activities or actions of civ uh, state fiscal service yeah. are of, uh, let's say, classical uh, cl cl classical issues that need to be resolved by changes into legislation, mm -hmm. by decision of Ministry of Finance, yep. or by amendments into daily activities of state fiscal, service, state fiscal services. Therefore, uh, my role is to ensure that there is an honest and transparent dialogue between business and, and state mm -hmm. fiscal service. Uh, there is, uh, and if there, are, there is a, let's say, no from state fiscal services in reply to any request from, from company, yep. it is justified no. And if there is a, mm -hmm. a request from, from, from company or claim from company on uh, actions of state fiscal service, my, my task is to ensure that this claim is... Uh, Considerant in in rational way, okay. and state fiscal service is really looking for mm -hmm. solution for for particular problems. So uh, monthly, I, I receive about one hundred uh, one hundred claims, and uh, uh, major. Can you handle this in 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 the beginning by yourself? Yeah, generally I work by, by myself. I, I have uh, now uh, two or three persons uh, like w working like as secretaries because they collect and all. But all it's it's on a voluntary the, basis. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. And uh, they uh, so what 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 we are doing? We just collect these claims with particular units in state mm -hmm. fiscal service. Usually, majority of these claims are resolved. Uh, Quite technically, yeah, you okay. know, so in easy an hour, yeah, easy, yeah. easy to solve, 
it's, it is once again just uh, illustrate that um, in reality all majority of these claims should not even appear because there, there are problems with for example software yep. or no reply or unjustified reply mm -hmm. so usually these claims used just to pay more attention to particular particular problem yeah uh, but uh, there are also uh, more or less systemic and serious problems connected with for example with VAT reimbursement yeah. because Ukraine is let's say exporting, exporting nation more yeah, we, we export, yeah. we export a lot a lot of different stuff uh, and to um, a big number of, of, of states and unfortunately uh, administration of VET yeah. uh, in, in Ukraine, the uh, Ukrainian system of VET is taken from, from the EU mm -hmm. a directive, uh, but the administration of the system uh, was and was really corrupted and mm -hmm. uh, Ukraine uh, had always, so government in Ukraine has always problem to reimburse uh, yeah. VET yeah. which should be reimbursed in case yeah. of export. I, I, and uh, I faced a lot of or got, got a lot of a lot of claims in the last quarter in 2015. Oh, um, what, what's the level of the, the value added tax? Uh, how many percent? Or, it's, uh, it's 20 percent. So, so that's like oh, that's yeah, the more, first more, step on uh, harmonization with uh, the not, not, on, not only on the level of rates, but uh -huh. also on the level of uh, on the level of uh, the rules. Yeah, it's, uh, this system is fully fully aligned with, with the EU. Uh, but the the problem is that uh, the uh, if in the EU the cases of uh, let's say corruption or fraud with yep. VAT system are let's say unique and small one in Ukraine they are unfortunately on, mm -hmm. on very big, big scale and uh, now the system is getting more and more automatized so the, there is there are more and more additional rules for ensuring transparency in the yeah. system okay. for um, it, 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 there, there, there were a lot of new amendments in, into the system which make the system as automatic as possible mm -hmm. in order to avoid any you know decision so hu 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 human hu, let's say human factor when, yeah. when the particular civil servant can influence uh, re reimbursement of the uh, this uh, association <coughs> agreement, uh, um, does it help you uh, or the situation in, in the fiscal area, uh, does it, you expect it, it would change uh, some, some things or better? Maybe knowledge sharing between... Yes, so in the agreement we have a specific chapter on taxation. Mm -hmm. uh, generally this uh, chapter um, provides for uh, or requires approximation of Ukrainian legislation with the EU1, yep. especially on VAT, since VAT is, mm -hmm. is harmonized. The same for customs, yep. and I, I think that even for customs it's even better because we uh, all problems connected with VAT and fraud with VAT are connected mm -hmm. with fraud on the, on the stage of importation of products yep. and exportation of products as well. Therefore, customs rules are also important, and we have really extensive chapter on, on customs okay. and trade facilitation in, mm -hmm. in the association agreement. Therefore, the agreement will be additional roadmap for fixing these problems yeah. and uh, I believe that for business community especially for international mm -hmm. business community there is a big demand for ensuring you know transparent and predictable development of, of, of tax system in, mm -hmm. in Ukraine so uh, and uh, I, I believe that generally so my role my, my role yeah. as, as, as ambassador fiscal service and the role of uh, uh, association agreement is of similar nature so we yeah. need just to uh, just to fix uh, the 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 system, it it's, it is getting healthier. But uh, yeah. I think that the general demand from business community, uh, so the expectation of business community yeah. are much higher yeah, than the result. Yeah, that's why I hear everywhere. That's yeah, right. then the result we we already receive. Therefore, I believe that uh, both uh, you know this kind of support which I provide. Uh, the the and ensuring dialogue between business community, pa parliament, ministry of finance, and fiscal mm -hmm. service, and also approximation of Ukrainian legislation to the EU uh, legislation will ensure that so will help to meet these expectations of, okay. of business community.
And then now there's one, uh, well, one, there's just a word, a weird thing. It's called the uh, tax simplification. It was in, back in the 90s started. Uh, maybe you can explain that to the viewers because we, we don't know something like that. So I, what I understood, it's interesting, better working for yourself. Uh, if you go uh, take a look through the taxes, then uh, being hired and work as an employee for a company. Yeah. Of, of Yes, there is a unique problem in tax system in, in Ukraine. Uh, problem not only in terms of that this is a pro problem like like creating some mess, but mm -hmm. also a, 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 an yeah. issue, let's say, or topic yeah. uh, topic of of discussion on on taxation. Uh, uh, in 1999, uh, as I might recall, the, it was President Kuchma uh, who adopted. Um, a system which should uh, help uh, in development of small and medium enterprise. Okay, but it was by simplifying the administration. By, sim and sim stuff and by, by simplifying, okay. simplifying accounting, yeah. simplifying paying taxes. It it, it it was an introduction of just classical tax tax on turnover. So yeah. you should you should just pay uh, four or five percent of yeah. for what you receive on your bank account okay. on or yeah. in your, uh, your cash desk. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, but the system uh, appeared to be a good solution for uh, dealing with um, let's say heavy tax burden in f informal informal in mm -hmm. classical taxes in yeah. personal income taxes in social taxes in in corporate income tax and so on and now uh, we have a lot of examples where even big corporations are in reality a set of contracts between private entrepreneurs paying this yeah, simplified, okay. simplified so, taxation yeah. and uh, sometimes uh, but uh, so it, so, so it irritates a, lo uh, a yeah. lot of a lot of let's say stakeholders. Mm -hmm. It irritates first of all uh, big business or international business, yeah. which cannot allow to 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 organize itself in, in yeah, this exactly. way, and therefore the tax burden for international business and for big business mm -hmm. is enormous uh, yeah. because they should live according to the let's say most complicated rules. They mm -hmm. lose this competitive advantage. Also, mm -hmm. uh, the tax administration looks uh, closer on the on big business and so on and therefore um, uh, big business advocates for uh, let's say modifying this uh, simplified and, and taxation. In which areas are is it mostly used? For the more, it, it is mostly used in let's say non-manufacturing areas okay. like like or IT, professional, like so professional so services, IT services, and Horica mm -hmm. and, uh, and. But but let's take this example of Horica. How does that work? Because uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to a pizzeria, and then I have to pay. Yeah. Wow. And, and uh, it, so what happens? Is it depends on on the size of, of pizzeria. If it is yeah, how many people, if, how if many contractors yeah, are yeah, involved? The, yeah. If they, if they are, mm -hmm. if it is small one, yeah. so you will just pay to, yeah. to, to one person. It's but it's if it if it is really popular, it has a big turnover. It you you can uh, you can. Uh, Pay so in your bill you you can find mm -hmm. out that you pay not to, not to pizzeria title or the owner of the pizzeria yeah. but to three or four different yeah, okay. different. So you persons. pay to the chef, to, to the waiter. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, separately. Okay. Uh, why? Because mm -hmm. uh, the simplified simplified system is allows to pay you simple uh, the simple tax yeah. only if you not exceed uh, exceed yeah, certain certain limit, certain, uh, certain yeah. limit. and therefore. Uh, just owner of, of, of the restaurant, uh, he, uh, he mm -hmm. or she contracts a private private person yeah. uh, and it well, not formally employ them. It creates a lot of uh, additional burden on our pension system yeah. because it on, not only due to demographic changes mm -hmm. but also due to the simplified taxation, yeah, sure, pension fund yeah. receives yeah. less uh, revenue yeah, and less, they yeah, have yeah. And we have constant deficit on panel of pension fund that should be uh, sh should 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 be financed from from uh, state budgets. Yeah. And once again, additional burden on on big B yep. on big uh, yep. Yep. Co co companies, and th this is a, let's say uh, and that's why that's why this system creates a. Uh, let's say at least misunderstanding between small and medium yeah. enterprises and big business because there is a, you know uh, sometimes it, it is so difficult to explain why uh, one person formally employed should pay 60% of yeah. taxes on uh, mm -hmm. 
his or her salary and the same yeah, person five, working as a contract yeah. will pay in only, fi- only 5%. Yeah. Okay. And at the same time, it creates a lot of uh, problem for small and medium enterprises as, as well because f- uh, the tax administration mm-hmm. believes that this is a semi-fraudulent behavior and yeah, create a lot of, a yeah. lot of um, pressure on small and medium enterprises looking for uh, certain criminal behavior to, and uh, yeah. a, a open, opening a lot of crim- criminal proceedings mm-hmm. and therefore it you know that's uh, one good idea on uh, encouraging small and medium enterprises yeah. in indicate create in indicate in 10 years of application created created a big big problem for for the relations between different stakeholders and business Man. So there's enough to do for the ombudsman on entrepreneurship. Yeah, and, and, uh, and this, this is uh, this year. Yeah, because this year you yeah. see is quite important because uh, there is a general um, um, expectation or general anticipation that this year should be uh, decisive in f- in resolving all these key problems oh. because uh, members of parliament, mm-hmm. government, business community, okay. uh, fiscal services, they. We we already in the in the course of you know discussion on how to deal yeah. with uh, the okay. deal with these problems. There are um, uh, ideas how to deal with it, and I believe uh, that uh, in next couple of months, Parliament will adopt solutions for, mm-hmm. for these ideas, and we will just resolve majority majority of problems which yeah. I'm dealing with on a daily basis. Yeah, and you can uh, be a sort of catalyzer. To, uh, yeah, we, I, 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 I hope so. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, we got to follow this because it's a very interesting and, being honest, a little weird uh, what's happening. Uh, but it's necessary to. It, it's also, uh, it's also to, to just. A uh, it's, it's, it's not only transition, it's also, you know, just uh, transition towards. towards Typical, typical European state because you know that we are all, all, almost all our neighbors. They they yeah. went through this kind mm-hmm. of, of transformation, and yeah. I believe that. Uh, so what is even more important that majority of ideas on how to solve these problems yeah. are usually borrowed from the experience of EU member up, EU yeah. member states, and there is a big uh, demand for you know for creating really civilized tax tax system because i i believe that everyone wants to to think about development of business and not how to how to pay taxes correctly i presume well thank you so much thank you uh, we'll thank you for your attention will, uh, to ukrainian develop in the future